Suffering in nobles, friend. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. We should get the pikeman value. Um, by doing this, it activates there, right? You deserve to die oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at these points. <laughs> oh man, I love that. Honestly, that is lit. Double yen. <laughs> Crap. This is not a good hand. I'm telling you. What? Okay, well that's easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel so bad sometimes doing some of these plays, man. <laughs> I should just do it right away, yeah? Anyway, they're going to use it later. What's up you absolute legends welcome back to yet another deck guide for today i've put together a nilfgaard list for you and we are using the new card yennefer illusionist pretty interesting one um obviously you want to play this card in a deck with a lot of spawning synergies which is why i've come back to another pikeman list right you guys know i like my soldiers decks and to me it does make sense to play yennefer illusionist in this kind of a build but of course there's been many other builds too you could even go for a assimilate kind of style of deck and I think it could also work good. Um, the leader ability that we're using is Imprisonment. Block an enemy unit and damage it by three. Two charges of this. Look to use leader sparingly. Um, you could use it to help you get around control. Or of course, whenever your opponent plays an important unit with a good order ability, you could just use it then as well. Stratagem that we have to use is Magic Lamp. This is only when we're going first. We get five extra points on the board through this token unit that you see here. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. To begin with, we've got two illusionists in this deck. We get to spawn a base copy of bronze unit from our opponent's graveyard on the right of this card, setting its power to one. If this is bonded, meaning we have two copies on the board, so this, and then when we play another copy, it won't be setting its power to one. So really what we're looking to do is use the Illusionist to generate as many pikemen as possible, and we would commit the Illusionist into round two onwards, okay? Battle preparation, we have a number of tactics in this deck because we are playing Calvate. This unit you see here, the more tactics we have in our deck, the more ensured we are to get Calvate round one, which is really important for us. Um, as you'll see when I go over the explanation of that card shortly. But preparation makes sense. Because we are playing a number of soldiers, the pikemen being soldiers. So this tactic in that case will play best, boosting a soldier by six and giving it two armor. So it does make sense in this deck as well. Use these as you need to, but they're more so fillers, like I said, for Calvate. Double Joust gives us a bit of extra control. You can do four points of damage or give an allied unit a shield, boosting it by four. For some control, we know hand buff is pretty prevalent. Symbiosis decks, I think there's a lot of boosting going on. To give this deck um, a variety of control, I added spores in here. But um, if you find you're not getting Calvate, you could of course just take this out, add another tactic in. To help get calvate but i think we've got enough because we've got seven tactics in this deck and spores just allows you to reset the power of a unit it's obviously going to be a boosted unit that you're targeting so you could just use spores as you need to really um you could have it as a last say tool punish card against your opponent's units just have a think about the kind of deck you're versing and what they may play 
double ointment boost the unit by five if it's a soldier heal it first so we're playing a number of soldiers when um the illusionist spawns a pikeman first off it'll be at one power so you could use ointment on the one powered pikeman and boost it as well um so that could play for some pretty good value so you may want to keep this when you're playing the illusionist double mage assassin the reason we have the mage assassin in this deck is because we are playing the blight makers obviously these cards go together they're a thinning package and they give us tempo um even though we're playing calvate we know we're going to get all our cards we need ways to get points on the board which is why i always pretty much add in the blight maker package and what you want to do is always keep both mage assassins in your deck and when you deploy this card it will allow you to look into your deck you search for the mage assassin click on that it gets drawn out to the board you do two points of random damage with the blight makers play both of them out round one to help you get round control but keep in mind they work good with the for illusionist because you do spawn the guardian so we get some good synergy there as well with Vienna if we're playing them at that time for more control i added treason in this deck the reason for that is i feel it's a really sneaky card to use and i know there's keltalus decks coming back up and a number of decks that run defender so treason is really good because you can use it on the opponent's defender if there's units stacked next to the defender it's not something where you have to manually target a card like red haze you just choose defender and it will damage both units on each side of the defender for example but yeah otherwise just acts as some control um it gives spying to an enemy unit and damage adjacent units by its power that's all so you could use this um when you think it will play best or you know depending on what you see during a match it's pretty flexible to use anytime we're not really reserving that for a specific situation so with rigor on deploy we trigger the deploy abilities of adjacent bronze soldiers that would be the illusionist rigith is a card we like to use into round two and you just want to make sure you're playing your illusionist collect uh, correctly so that rigith can go in between both illusionists and we can spawn even more pikemen through the use of this card so more of a round two card um when we're sure we're going to have a lot of illusionists down when we're looking to bleed the opponent at that time we do have Defender in here. It's only for one specific reason that I decided to add it in here. And it's really because I'm playing Yenna for Illusionist in this deck. And I believe she requires Defender if we want to make her consistent. And really get the, the good value out of this card. So the way you play Defender is round 2. When we're pushing on the bleed, you play Defender down. And the next card you'll play will be Yenna for Illusionist behind it. She's protected. Your opponent's going to have so many different things to worry about. Pikeman pings. Yenna for Illusionist um doing her damage and control so it should be pretty good at that time ring of favor is in here to help with getting ground control once again this card always starts in our hand uh while in our hand at the end of your turn increase the boost by two the idea is you save this as your last play of round one so it gets as big a boost as possible if you don't use it it just banishes and you draw a card Put some tall punish we've got yennefer's invocation in here place an enemy unit at the top of your deck could come in handy you could just have this as a final say at the end of a match uh remove a unit which is with a high boost or if you know there's a unit which your opponent is likely to replay from their graveyard you could take it away round one um there's a number of different ways to use this but try to save it for a good option Raymond, spawn and play a base copy of a bronze soldier from your hand and give it two armor. Best thing to do is use this onto the illusionist to get even more pikemen. Um, this has a spawning synergy, so this will work fantastic with Yennefer once she's down and we're playing this afterwards. Keep in mind, a lot of our cards work that way. Truffle will work good with Yennefer. Um, the illusionists themselves, this card, we've got a number of different plays, all right? So use this onto Illusionist round two. So with Calvate, Calvate ensures we get all of our top end cards, all the golds that we really require when playing this deck. Um, it's a card you'd like to play round one, first thing. And um, it's just going to sort the cards in our deck. So the highest at the top, and it's going to go 
like subsequently lower provision cost from there so basically what that means is we pull into all of our golds as each round unfolds so you want to play calvade as early as possible if you got him round one always play him round one unless you're versing a mill deck be careful then because they could get rid of your best cards so we got truffle in here spawn and play a bonded unit from your starting deck truffle makes a lot of sense once again because we've got yennefer in here so we're spawning a unit it works good with yen the order is that we've got golden froth um i do like to play this round two on the bleed okay pretty much the way we want to play this deck is to owe the opponent unless they're a solo tech kind of deck where they're not control heavy not interacting with our side of the board you could go a long round three but otherwise we just really want to go for good tempo in round two Go for the 2-0, bleed some good stuff out of the opponent. And what you do is just go for an Illusionist with this card and spawn a Pikeman onto the melee row. So yeah, then we've got Yennefer Illusionist here. On the deploy, you spawn Yennefer's Illusion, which is that token unit you see down there. Whenever this unit takes damage, destroy self. So yeah, it's definitely susceptible to removal, as is Yennefer Illusionist herself, which is why I've put in Defender. I believe it's really required. Um, the first time you spawn a unit on your side of the battlefield each turn, damage the lowest power enemy unit by the spawned unit's base power. The death blow is that she boosts by one as well. So it can be a pretty strong engine. So like I said, we've got a number of ways to spawn units. The idea is we want to set up unit for illusionist early behind defender around two, and then you're going to play your actual illusionist bronze soldier cards out. You play truffle, you play Raymond, Anything which spawns, we do after that time. It should be a lot of control and a lot of pings from the pikemen. And then to set up the pikemen into our opponent's graveyard for the illusionist, we're using Renegade. The deploy is that you swap a card from your opponent's graveyard with a card in your hand. So we always want to search for a pikeman to have that in our hand. And we don't play Renegade until we see the pikemen or until we see a good enough card in the opponent's graveyard to take. Um, I think Renegade's really slick and a very sneaky card because there's a lot of different styles of play that require um, the opponent's strat require a replay of a unit from their graveyard, like Witcher Sabbath kind of plays, um, Self Wound plays. So I think Renegade's pretty solid always to use. So with Renegade, um, usually you'd play him round one or two. Now that I've outlined the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. So as far as how you want to push with this deck, if you're versing a control heavy list, you most likely want to go for the 2-0 because we're running a lot of engines. If you're versing a deck that's more solid in their play where they don't interact with your board, not heavy on the control, you could go for a long round three because we are kind of a control deck with leader and our toll punish options. But what I'd suggest is round one, you could go ahead and play Calvate first thing. Um, you of course have Ring of Favor to consider. Play out both Blight Makers, play out some tactics. Um, maybe use one toll punish card, whether it's Spores, Yen and Treason. Hopefully that's enough to get you round control. Into round two, we're looking to set up Yennefer Illusionist immediately. So what you do is you play Defender. After playing Defender, your opponent may play a unit, which could give a nice initial hit from Yennefer Illusionist. You play her right after. Then you play Truffle. Then you play your Illusionist out. You've got Vrigaf, um, Raymond. You've got pretty much all your cards to consider at that time. And if it looks like the 2-0 is there, pretty much go for it with this list. So I hope you're going to enjoy the following matches. Thanks for your support as always. Let's take a look. A Calvate yet? Really? Hmm. Okay. That's surprising. Must be a one-off. And that is exactly why I kept my joust. Take that. 
Not no more. Next set up to Tremble before the light of the great sun. I mean my hand's not really good to push here either though, to be honest. Look at it. Defeat them with hunger. Crush them with time. It's more like round two cards. Hopefully ring pulls us through. We still don't really know what they're playing. <laughs> exactly. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. So they've placed the mage at the top of their deck. What's up, Lorda? How are you? We do have some intel on the opponent's strategy, my friends, by knowing their cards. I'm just a bit um, disappointed by the hand. I can't really do much, I don't feel. I don't feel good to commit um, really too much more. Otherwise, I absolutely would have. Well, they haven't played Calvate. Neither have we. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll get Calvate now, I'm pretty sure. We must get it. Come on, man. Where's Calvate? Hey! <laughs> Oh, don't freak me out like that. Don't do that to me, dudes. <laughs> Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! I forgive this time. Pretty good for them. No good wine will come from you, not even compost. Uh, we don't really know what they're gonna do, do we? Bars across the empire will sing of this day. It's a tough spot. Don't worry, I love a challenge. Bring it on. Give me your hardest matches. <laughs> What's up, Bode? You absolute legend. Yeah, they're pushing, man. Assimilate? I guess you could say that. You gotta channel your energy, man. Alright, there's our Vilgefort's target. Double Yennefer? It's not too bad, is it? What are they playing, really? Take it? Yeah, no doubt. We're definitely gonna do it. I'll 
Just wondering, do I hit a lot? Just to put pressure on them. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty filthy. <sighs> okay, yeah. I, I was just thinking, should I should I do one lock? But anyway, we could play this for carryover. They know what's coming now. They've got leader for control. Could be an issue. <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks. How about yourself? Thank you for your time. Ooh. Okay. So... Illusionist, yeah, Blackmaker is good still. Blackmaker is good points. Maybe not this? <laughs> what, a, what a hand, man. Honestly. <laughs> Yo, when I set up playing Inner for Illusionist, I really meant it. I mean, we're doing all kinds of things. We should leave it. Maybe we just go for... It's really hard, you know, because... Yennefer's just gonna get answered right away. I got Defender out. Should I play it like late or something? I feel it's just gonna get locked right away. Maybe we're gonna play this one different. You know, at the same time, it's a one-powered unit. Like, if they're going to commit lock to that, they're not damaging as much. What's up, you legend? Trying to do the daily challenges? Sick. It frightens you? Don't worry, you're on my side, right? It shouldn't frighten you. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, you picked a good time. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> uh, let's see what's up. just wait again so that's gone does it matter now go on kill that you can do it kill that yes all right now we're gonna do Yennefer we'll still get value out of um Blight maker. Oh, there's our treason. Yes, yes, yes. All right, baby. I believe we kill Pikeman off, right? Either that, I could just hit treason now. Maybe it's treason. I mean, there's a few things we could do. Treason's pretty clean here, here I think. Alright. Yennefer Illusionist next. 
Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. Trigger the deploy abilities. Spawn. Right, right. Um. We can still kill it off now. Wait, what'd they take from us again? Suffering and noble's friend. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. We should go for pikeman value. Um by doing this, it activates there, right? You deserve to die for Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Look at these points! Honestly, that is lit. Double yen. <laughs> oh. How much spawning are they doing though? Well, could be an issue. Look, I should take a unit now. It's going to increase the odds we, we kill the token because all it needs is one point of damage. I may, I may take... Um, yeah, just in case. Not sure. What's up, Nucleator? How are you? Take to the woods and release the hounds. All right. Nah, mate, you're not taking this win from me. And um, even playing this will trigger her as well here. So we're doing this. A fine vintage it would have made. Uh, there's no way to access that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh my goodness, that's nice. Go on, kill that. Oh, it was close. Another? Yeah, I know. I was trying to think of it. So, I guess this is the best to take. Just take the Illusionist, isn't it? Guys, this deck is lit. Oh, what a fun deck, man. Hello, um, you can take the questions. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more W's, man. Ooh, it's, uh, yeah. It's that kind of list. I miss Calvate again, dude. Crap. This is not a good hand. I'm telling you. What? Okay, well that's easy to deal with. <laughs> I, I feel so bad sometimes doing some of these plays, man. I should just do it right away, yeah? Anyway, they're gonna use it later. Oh, it's bad. 
not as bad, isn't it? Okay. So they're doing the sea hill thing. Most likely that they're, they're doing that strat. Okay, so we've got to make sure they're not getting death blows. I think I'm going to push hard for round control. I could go truffle. Because we've got pikemen there already. Could also boost these up with the tactics. Should have locked that first. Yeah, I'll play froth onto them. Armor up? Really? Wait. Maybe um, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Maybe it's not what we think it is. Why would they play it like that? I'm still doing it anyway. We could take that. Sometimes they like to replay that. They like to purify and replay. Sup, size, how are you? Yeah, see? There's Pella. Mate, we know our place. We are not newbies to the game. I'm not sure if I care about answering it. I could just play specials out from here. I could even toss this just for the sake of it. Trigger all remaining storm. Uh, we just keep... Okay, maybe I'm saving these. Whatever they attempt to damage down, we're going to play these out. Ointment works pretty good here. It's a soldier. Keeps us ahead. There they go. I think it's Sea Hill, right? It's gotta be. We got the answers. We got the answers, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Magic compass already. Don't burn your golds. Double. What? Was that another Pella? Am I seeing things? They actually did really well on the compass play. Far out, right, they got lucky. Tell you what. They really got lucky there. Look how many points were up. Let's keep protecting our units, I think. That's a lot of points, man. How are you gonna do it? Seriously. Yeah. Alright. I didn't play Calvate. <sighs> I have to bleed, but I have to bleed, yeah? I absolutely have to bleed. Mmm. This is the question now. 
I'm okay. We're doing something. All right. Wow. I think I'm a bit lucky here. I think so. Geralt's coming for you, buddy. I think I'm gonna push in. If it's Sea Hill, I don't wanna deal with this board deletion stuff. No way. So. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! Maybe we should play that melee row? Crap. Yeah, I'm stacking melee. Hmm, it's a bit of a misplay. That should have went melee row, I think. Let's see. Defender? I've got no idea what this is, man. I'm not really sure what we're seeing. It's going to be Yennefer next. What gold do we pull into? Treason. Treason would have been good here. Wow, heat wave? Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, Yennefer's very exposed now. Well. Maybe Blightmaker and pass? I don't know. We'll see. Hey, what's up, Patrick? How are you? Double Pella, man. I was surprised. And a squirrel in there. Crazy. Welcome back, Geralt of Rivia. I got no idea what this deck is, friends. Hold on, so they've completely played Compass out. So they're literally only drawing one more card. Am I right about that? This is a fine vintage it would have made. No lippy, no nothing. Yeah, we just pass, right? I think pass is good. Lippy in hand? I don't know. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. Hey, the name is game over. That can't be a coincidence. Okay, we got Calvate, which is good. Blight Makers, we definitely want that. Oh. Not bad. All right. Just open up with Calvate. Take it from there. I forgive this time. You can't play it and enjoy it much. <laughs> but um, you like control decks, man, don't you? Because you like Syndicate. What's your style of play, really? I think uh, Blight Makers is good here. Take some value away from that card. 
Yeah, control. Nice, dude. I think Syndicate's probably one of the most difficult to master, huh? Because you got the um. Oh yeah, right. You got like the profit over profiting aspect. All those kinds of things to consider, eh? Hey, we just play some tactics out. Army's a waste of time for one way. Wow, treason is just so clean here, man. <laughs> oh, it's so sneaky. I love it. Yeah, everyone loved that. What's up, Doc? Good to see you, my friend. Always a pleasure. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. The doctor's in the house. Could play another tactic. Ring's getting bigger. <laughs> Ritzy, what's up, my friend? Nice to see you again. We had a good laugh yesterday. Yeah, illusionist deck. Yes, yes. I'm pretty much pushing for round control, but there's only so much I could do. Right of it. Ooh, we could take that with Renegade as well, eh? Wow, that could be a real good Renegade still, man. I got my eyes on that, I'm telling you. What's up, 319? How are you? Good to see you again. Thanks for your time. All right, we're gonna take Radovid. We're taking Radovid with Vilgaports. That's so good, man. <laughs> that is filthy. And we're putting Pikemen into their graveyard. I think I want Defender. Yeah, we need Defender for this. I think I have to play melee road to avoid damage from scenario card if they play it. That's it. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it makes sense because of how Yennefer works. Well... How much spawning value am I getting out of her if I play her here, but... What do we got coming up to? Maybe I play this first. Then kill the less. <laughs> I 
Do it like this. Yeah, I always come back to it. <laughs> I always come back to some kind of variation. Nero. Hensel? Okay. You want peace? Fight for it. Alright. Going in pretty heavy, aren't they? Kills the token. Okay. I don't think it's... It's probably not worth playing into it. There's too many points. Yeah, I just pass. I don't think so with that hand, man. I was a bit screwed because I I put an illusionist back away. Now we can do something. Yeah, okay. We'll have enough illusionists to trigger Brigif for sure. Probably just keep it like this and we see what happens. I still got two leader charges. Uh, maybe I go for this first. We just use leader to lock up uh, whatever siege engines we see. That's seven. Well, what's our Yennefer target going to be anyway? That's going to be our Yennefer target, isn't it? this card out next well they're they're waiting to activate that too I think we're doing it like this Play the other illusionist next. Thank you for the prime sub, really appreciate it. Emil, what's up? How are you? Nice to see you on. Oops, no, not yet. Well, that's pretty weak. Watch close. Okay, it's looking good. 
Still got leader. I think we're doing all right. Ooh, nice. I'd like some good points to finish up with. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. This is my favorite part, man. Unleash hell. <laughs> nice. Nice. It worked. The bleed worked.